Ladies and gentlemen, we have some very bad news. The recent explosion in China has now called for nuclear and biochemical experts to go to the Tianjin site. This is horrible. More than 200 nuclear and biochemical experts from the Chinese military have been sent to the port city of Tianjin. I'm going to try and pronounce this the best I can. Tianjin, after two huge explosions, killed at least 50 people. A team from the International Atomic Energy Agency's Beijing Environmental Emergency Response Center has also gone to the area. The blast struck a warehouse of hazardous chemicals at a port, uh, at a port and were so large they were seen by satellites in space, sending shockwaves through apartment blocks a number of miles away. Around 700 people were injured by the explosions and more than 70 of them were serious. One survivor was pulled from the wreckage on Friday, an official told reporters. The exact cause is not yet known, but China's President Xi Jinping has demanded those responsible are severely handled. It looks like an apocalyptic scene. Witnesses reported crumpled shipping containers being thrown around like matchsticks. Hundreds of new cars being sent alight and port buildings became burnout shells. Thousands of residents have been moved to nearby schools after homes and apartment buildings were damaged mostly by shockwaves from the blasts, the official, uh, the, excuse me, the official Xinhua news agency said. Approximately 1,000 firefighters and more than 140 fire engines struggled to contain a blaze in a warehouse that held dangerous goods, Xinhua said. Among the dead were at least a dozen firefighters, uh, the news agency said. Uh, 18 remain missing. While another 66 have been hospitalized, several fire trucks were destroyed in the blast and nearby firefighters wept as they worked to extinguish flames, the Beijing News reported. The first explosion, equivalent to three tons of TNT, happened at around 11.30 p.m. local time on Wednesday night. State broadcaster China Central Television, CCTV, reported. The blast sent huge fireballs into the air and triggered a blast wave that could be felt miles away. The second explosion was equivalent to 21 tons of TNT which happened about 30 seconds after the initial blast. Authorities said the explosion started at the warehouse owned by Ruhai Logistics, a company that says it stores hazardous materials including flamm flammable petrochemicals, sodium cyanide, and toline, toline diocyanide. I think that's how you pronounce that. State media said senior management at the firm had been detained by authorities. So, okay, this is obviously horrific. The question is what caused the explosion. We all know what was going on with China directly before this happened. They were starting a currency war. And then approximately a blast equivalent to 33 tons of TNT and more went off at a port city, at a port. Something is very fishy here, isn't it? That's all I got for you. God bless and carry on.